Great seeing you here again. My name is Luc de Coster, founder of the Coster Academy, and I will start now with a new series of videos related to mathematics as a part of our Math Survival Guide. But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So let's have a look at the different elements that we are going to consider. First of all, we have to look at the linear equation in its general form. The general form is written as a1, x1 plus a2, x2 plus, and so on, a index i, x index i, until we reach the final element, a n x n, and the sum is equal to c. So this is the general form of a linear equation. It's a linear equation because all the variables, the x variables, have the first order. So they only are lifted to power 1. The element that we have here is that we have the different coefficients, a1 up to an, which can be real numbers, and x, or the parameters, the variables, depending on the application, can be real numbers, or in certain cases, we will consider integers. Now, when we look at a two-dimensional linear equation, we can say typically, or we write it typically, as ax plus by is equal to c. And when we have a three-dimensional, we have ax plus by plus c is, it, is equal to d. Now, typically, we're going to use two-dimensional linear equations because that's the equation of a line and we can easily represent that in an x and y cartesian system from three dimensions we have planes we have the three dimensions and further on we have dimensions which exceed and which we cannot really represent easily in the format or on a paper we will use those using matrices to do the different calculations. Anyway, the principles are basically the same. Now, when we look at the equations of a straight line in x and y, we typically say that that equation is ax plus by is equal to c. And when we draw this line, we see we have a straight line with the equation ax plus by is equal to c. And in this case, we have a line which goes up from left to right. We will later see that this is a line with a positive slope. First of all, we have the x-intercept, which is the intersection between the line and the x-axis. And we also have the y-intercept, which is the intersection between the line and the y-axis. For the x-intercept, we see that y is equal to 0. And for the y-intercept, x is equal to 0. When we look at the intersection with the x-axis, that's the first intercept we're going to find, or to find the equation of it, we know that the y-value is equal to 0, and we can say that ax plus by is equal to c, with y equal to 0, and we can rewrite this equation as ax is equal to c. Based on this, we can divide both sides with a, and we see that the x value, the x parameter of the intercept, is c divided by a. The y inter oh, sorry, the x intercept can now be written as c divided by a and 0. So we have the two coordinates, x is equal to c divided by a, and y is equal to 0. We can now do the same for the intersection with the y axis. Here we see that x is equal to 0. And when we put this in the equation of the line, we see that with x equal to 0, this equation becomes b times y is equal to c. And we can say that y is equal to c divided by b. Based on this, we can find the y-intercept or the coordinates of the y-intercept, which are given by 0 and c divided by b. So now we know how to calculate the x and the y-intercept. When we have the equation of a line, understanding the value of the x and the y-intercept will help us to draw this line, this straight line, because we only need two points to draw a line. 
Let's have a look at an example. I have the equation 5x plus 2y is equal to 10. And we can say that for the y-intercept x is equal to 0, we find 2y x equal to 10 and y is equal to 5. So we find the y-intercept given by the coordinates 0 and 5. We do the same for the x-intercept, y is equal to 0. So we can rewrite the equation as 2x is equal to 10 or x is equal to 2, which gives us the x-intercept, which has the coordinates 2 and 0. We can now draw this in a graph using those values, and we find the x and y axis. I put there the values of the coordinates in x and y. They're both the same, which is a classical Cartesian plane, which gives us the best way to evaluate angles and other properties. So we can say the x-intercept is 2 and 0. We find this on the x-axis. The y-intercept is 0 and 5, and we find this on the y-axis. And now we pull a line through it, and this line is in fact the line with the equation 5x plus 2y is equal to 10. So that's basically all for this presentation for this first video related to the linear equations. I hope you liked it. There will be more videos following. Anyway, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. Thank you and bye-bye.